Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Juan Motivates. Yo, for all my new subscribers, man, welcome. Make sure to hit the subscription button, the notification bell, um, because you're gonna come back, man, because all I do is give you vital information that no other techs do. Nah, I'm just kidding. I just tell you stuff, man, that I've been through, man, and people that wanna, from comments and things like that. I'm sure there's thousands of channels that have more subscribers, more views, more everything, but I enjoy helping you guys, man, so that's why I make videos. Anyway, man, uh, you gotta make sure to hit, if you watch my video, you gotta make sure to hit the like button, man, because the like button um, shows YouTube that, um, yeah, people like like his content, they like that he's helping people, so it helps my channel, like, you know, grow and move on or whatever. So, um, you need to do that. So, anyway, today, man, um, I want to make a video on is it worth being an MRI tech? Uh, I don't do MRI personally. It's something I always wanted to, um, I always had my eye on it and I always wanted to kind of pursue it. Not kind of pursue it, it's just kind of like in my mind, like thoughts about it. Should I pursue it? Should I not? Eh, I'm not sure, man. Um, as you know, most of, mostly, uh, if y'all watch my videos, I'm going to barbering now. So I go to school for barbering and it's a 10 month program. I'm, at, I'm in my first month, so I got nine months to go. But man, if you can conquer radiology, you can conquer anything. <laughs> but um, now nah, in all reality, man, um, MRI is, is honestly a, um, a field that I thought about doing. But like I told you in radiology, man, like everything is a registry, everything you have to sit down and get um, comps on. So it just, it's sometimes <sighs> you get you get to my age and you're like, do I really wanna go to, to school again? Do I, wanna, do I really wanna learn another modality? Do I really wanna sit for another a ARRT registry board? They're stressful, man. It's fun. It's fun stress, to be honest, because I love studying. I love making flashcards. I love learning. You know what I mean? I'm, as you can tell, I'm still going to school for barbering. So, but it's something that I enjoy. You know what I mean? So, but anyway, I'm at, I'm going to tell you guys, I've been in the medical field for a long time. So I've seen MRI techs, what they do on a daily basis. And uh, I'm going to give you three pros um, and three cons to have, to have you guys sit there and think about, is this for me? Is it worth it? I don't know. So let's go with the cons first. You know what I'm saying? Let's go with the cons first because those are always the, the 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 ones that, oh, you know, is that meant for me, you know? Let's go with the cons and then we, we save the good for last, right? So the first one, man, con would be, it's, uh, it's highly physical. Very, very physical on your body because most hospitals um, most hospital. I work in a, a six-story hospital. It's not a trauma center or anything, but um, there's six floors, and through all the six floors, there's only one MRI machine and one MRI tech. That's it. You know, so it's physically demanding, man. You know, yeah, you have you have transporters that bring your patients. Sometimes, let me let me rephrase that. You have transporters during the week <laughs> that go and get your patients. Um, you do have transporters on weekends, but it's seldomly because just like anything, man, everything is shortage right now. Eat, that includes um, transporters, you know, it's hard to get good work. I don't think transporters really know what they get themselves into because they don't understand the physical demand that it takes to be a transporter. So I think they kind of work for the first week and most of them are like, nah, play, this ain't for me. <laughs> you know, it's too much physical labor. So you lack, you lack, um, you know, transporters. So if you work in an MRI tech on weekends on your own overnight, best believe you're gonna go get your own patient, you know? And um, and it's just, it's, it's highly physical on your body, man, you know? So that's something to think about. Um, two, not only is it highly, you know, physical on your body, but it's highly stressful. There's so much stress involved in MRI. And the reason I say stress, man, is because of the fact that you have to, you have the stress of doctors, you know, being like, hey, I need this MRI stat but there's really no stat MRIs, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I need this contrast, I need this, because they use, um, I think it's called gandolinium, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So they use a contrast and they're like, oh, I need a contrast for this. And MRI is so, um, the, the images come out so good that 99% you really don't don't ever need any kind of contrast, but yeah, you gotta you know argue with doctors, yes, you need contrast. And, um, and then you have to understand that when you inject that contrast too, it's kind of like CT, you have to, that's all on your hands. So you have to make sure you check the chart, you have to be on point with checking the chart, make sure you're doing the right patient, <laughs> the right exam, um, are the labs good? 
then you have you have the the stress the stress of hoping that they stay still in the MRI machine because MRIs are like five minutes you know they're at least 20 minutes and above um, they can stretch out to an hour so you have the stress of like hoping that the patient stays still that way you can get a good image that way that you know they get a proper diagnosis you know uh, for a good patient care you know what I mean not just the doctor's gonna get mad but just for you to be a great tech and for you to be a good um yeah like a good medical profession for your patient you know what i'm saying you want to be you, you want to be the best of the best for for yourself and, and the patient you know um so that is it, very very stressful you know um on top of that stress you have to understand you have to be good with starring ivs it's a big deal man um and ct and mri you have to understand that you have to start your own ivs now you have to at least start and try you'll get good at it but you have to like you know get good at starting ivs because you have to inject your your contrast whatever you use and and then you can be like oh i'll call nurses sometimes man nurses are so busy that they're not going to go down to your department to help you you know that's just the way it is man we're all shorthanded in every department you know so it, it'll be hard for a nurse to come and be like oh i'm gonna help you start an iv whenever they're not available you know, the only good thing is that for IV, for MRI, you don't have to have like a like a 20 gauge or anything like that. You can basically do a butterfly needle, which is simple, kind of simple to do. And you only inject, I don't know how much, I don't want to lie to you, but you don't inject a lot of contrast like you do in CT. It's not like 100 cc's, nothing like that. Usually it's like 10 cc's and under, maybe five. There's not a lot, but still you have to learn how to start IV. So that's stressful enough, you know, because some, some um, patients' veins, they, they roll and and they move and you're like, oh, it's the last thing I want to do is start an IV on this patient, you know, but you have to, man, you have to. Um, so I think that was number two. And uh, number three would be, um, it's just, like I said, it's short, man. Like it's, uh, you're gonna be, you're gonna work short staff. Like I said, you usually only have one MRI tech, man. Um, and that's super stressful on you, super stressful, super physical demanding, and it's hard. It's just hard on your body in general, man. It's super hard. Uh, and I'm not trying to, if you want to be an MRI, I'm not trying to say, oh, don't go for MRI, you're going to kill. No, it all depends where you work. This is just basically hospital work. Um, now, if you work in an outpatient center, I'm sure it's a lot easier because 99% are walkie-talkie patients. And, um, you know, you can get them in and out less than an hour, start an IV. You have nurses, they're not as busy as they are in a hospital. So this is all just hospital, you know, information. Um, so that's, there's, I'm sure there's a lot more cons to it. There's a lot of um, things you have to think about MRI, like um, objects, you know, metal objects, making sure that they all take their pacemakers out, not out, but get a pacemaker specialist to go in there and make sure that it's turned off or it's safe for MRI. <sighs> it's a lot, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot. I think that's why I said, that's why I always think about going for MRI. Then I kind of changed my mind because it's, it's, it's a lot, man. So that's enough for the, um, for the, for the cons, right? Let's go to the pros, right? People want to know why it's good to get MRI. Why do we have MRI techs in the first place, right? So, sorry, I'm at work, so I kind of have to, you know, do everything at once. So the pros is, um, you can on, you can work anywhere, man. Once you get certified in MRI, man, you don't have to be stressed out in MRI and in, in, in a hospital if you don't want to. You can work anywhere you want, bro. You can work in a hospital, outpatient center, doctor's offices that have MRI, um, imaging centers, whatever, whatever, you don't, you can work anywhere, you know, and the people, and this is, I'm gonna tell you the honest truth why people work in hospitals, right, as an MRI tech, because you're gonna make the most money, and you're gonna have the best benefits, that's honestly the reason people stay and put up with that in MRI, anything, honestly, because in outpatient centers, they're not gonna give you the same amount of money, you're not gonna get the same best benefits, um, the hospital I'm at right now, man, that's how good benefits you get when you work in a hospital, the, the hospital I'm at right now, they're so big, that if I ever have surgery, like not life ending or life threatening, like just regular surgery, say knee surgery, um, I get my as do I get my MRI here, my CT here. I have my hospital stay here, and I will probably only pay like a thousand dollars. Honestly, the bigger hospital you work at, the more benefits you get, and you just never know when you're gonna need services, man. You know, so that's why a lot of people put up with the with the hospital work and the demand and the physical and the stress because of the fact that they, the benefits are amazing, but you can work anywhere, you know what I mean? Um, 
two for pros is it's kind of cool because you get to you get to keep up with technology you know like software changes all the time you know um and you get to experience that now the big thing is ai artificial intelligence it's getting so big that you know it's kind of fun to see where it's going to take us you know we're going to are we going to need radiology techs are we going to need mri techs you know um now it might take 100 years 50 years it might take a minute but it might be coming you know but that's the cool thing just you have so many companies that make machines out there if i'm not mistaken so you have toshiba you have ge um who else makes uh mri equipment toshiba ge maybe samsung um so you have a lot of companies out there and and you know if, say you become an mri tech and you become a leader a director of imaging you get to go to these seminars man that have all the latest technology when you have the when when your equipment is the end of life and you have to go buy something new you get to go there you get to go to chicago to the biggest radiology event in the world that happens every year you get to go see all these new things and hope that your hospital can afford it and that you can be like oh i want to bring this to my facility you know and it's it's awesome to the it's awesome to be in a field because the technology is amazing and the things you learn are just it's just fun man it, it honestly is it's fun stressful fun <laughs> And the third reason why it's a pro, man, is you get paid very, very well. You get paid good, man. Um, I can honestly, I can't really tell you how much you get paid, but I'm gonna give you a base, right? So I'm an X-ray, I'm an X-ray tech, certified, certified CT, CAT scan tech. Um, and me as an X-ray tech at the hospital I'm at now, um, I'm at 30, 33, 33, 34. Um, so that's how that's how much I make hourly, you know what I mean? Um and I'm also C T certified, but I don't do CTs here, I just do X ray only. So if I was to transfer to the C T department, I think it's like a two, maybe three dollar raise. So I'll probably jump up to thirty three, that I mean thirty three, thirty six, thirty seven range, not counting differential pay, not counting overtime pay, just base pay. So I'm guessing MRI has to be making close to forty. Guessing. You know, they are the highest paid in modality as far as like CT, X-ray. Um, MRI is like the top leading. I think it's MRI first, CT second, X-ray third, you know, because X-ray is the base. Um, so there you go, man. It's a lot of information. It's a lot to think about. The medical field is not for everybody. Don't ever get into medical field for the money. You have to enjoy what you do, bro, because... You can't sit there and go to a job every day just because you make good money, but be miserable. <laughs> it's not even worth it, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, um, we stay to the end. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for supporting. To the next one.